tomorrow all we have left is to do the deal, give them a bunch of money, yep. and an RV. Yep. So we are done here at the RV park slash dealership. Uh, we are all loaded up, ready to go. We had to do a little deal this morning. We're going to hit the road. We got, we're going to take our time getting home, right? About three days to get home. Yep. feelings or thoughts or whatever on this new suspension uh, again we our old rig a uh, long time ago we upgraded to the Roadmaster Comfort Ride series with uh, slipper springs and shock absorbers and it made I think a, a pretty big difference so the new rig has the more ride 8k suspension on it with disc brakes uh, we got the disc brakes as well and the problem is though that we were not able to get our pin box that we had on the old rig, we couldn't switch it over, it didn't fit with the new rig. So I'm not exactly comparing apples to apples here, but we have the Moride pin box, and I don't know the specifics on it yet, I haven't really done much research on it. So what I can tell is, and it's, it's hard to explain, um, maybe some of you will know what I'm talking about, but overall there's more porpoising than I had with the Kurt air ride system and I didn't really notice it until driving today how good that pin box was. I knew that I I knew that it was good, but today I'm feeling some porpoising on the rig that I have not felt since installing that Kurt Air Ride pin box. It's not bad. It's not as bad as it was when we had our original pin box with which was the Kurt Rotoflex. That was terrible, a hundred percent terrible. So again, I'm not comparing totally apples to apples here because of the pin box, but I'm, I'm feeling a little bit of porpoising, but then there's, this is the part that's kind of hard to explain. There's less other movement, I think, from, from the rig back there that I'm feeling. It's just a, a little bit of porpoising. Now, we haven't hit any really bad road yet. Um, I think we, we're headed 44 west here in Missouri, and I think we're gonna hit a little bit of a bad stretch coming up here probably within the next hour if I remember right and we'll see how it, how it works out but so far it's a decent ride I'm still trying to figure out the brakes and where my brake controller needs to be set the brakes are definitely working and oh my gosh they were far better than the old rig uh, the drum brakes but uh, anyway just wanted to get that out there that's what I'm feeling so far towing with this new more ride independent suspension and disc brakes Round two at Bucky's today. It's uh, much more manageable. We were actually able to find a parking spot, yep. and so we're going to go in and check it out. We're looking forward to some brisket sandwiches, yep. and uh, we'll let you know how it is. crazy they have everything you can think of in there yeah everything like uh i, I saw clothes so the clothing liquor dog toys dog treats even pickled quail eggs so and footy pajamas and footy pajamas yeah i think you look pretty good in it <laughs> all right so what did we get we got two chopped brisket sandwiches and a banana pudding but what else did you get? Where's my... Oh, yes. So this is one of those four-in-one drink coolers. It says it fits most 12-ounce cans, skinny cans, and bottles. Or you can just pour your drink straight in there. Jeremy happens to need a skinny can koozie. His just died, so he now has a Bucky's. There we go. So...
so we got had our first disaster here in the new rig. We knew this was going to be an issue because the refrigerator is all the way in the back where you're obviously getting the most bounce. So we are going to have to figure this out. Let me turn that light on here. There we go. So we can see this. You can see down here there's mucho stuff on the ground. Something uh, busted open. Um, ciders. Yeah, there's a hard cider that busted open. It was all over the ground. So this is going to be fun to clean up. Well, the entire refrigerator is on the floor. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know if you can. Oh boy. <laughs> so the pillow idea didn't work for us. So we're going to have to figure that out. We'll go to Walmart tonight and we'll get see if we can find one of those suction cup handles. We're going to get to work here. This is going to take a little while. <laughs> so anyway, um, it sucks, but we knew something was going to come, right, with a new rig. So see you later. Well, unfortunately, there's only a room for one person back there. But look at all this stuff that came out. Pretty much everything that was on the shelves is now not on the shelves. What are you fishing for over there? I am fishing for that lemon lime thing. Lemon lime thing. Story, I think. Oh no, don't tell me that busted open. It did not bust open, oh. but it might have been That's all, right. all shook up. Ish. I think we are good over here. Okay. Can you check over there? Yes. It is good over okay. here. Okay, you go over and put the slide out. Okay. And I will stay here and monitor. Look, listen, and feel. This one's number five, so I'm going out on five. You ready? Okay, pause. pause. What is it? Simple syrup. Simple syrup. Like a bottle? Yes. Under the slide? Yep. Okay, here we go. We got the bottle of simple syrup out of there, so we're going to try slide five again going out. Okay, I don't see anything down there. Success. All right, so something that we saw on some of our 390 uh, Facebook groups is to use one of these shower suction cup grab bars. So luckily we are parked right across the street from the True Value. They happen to have this, otherwise Walmart was about a mile up the road. But you just stick it on there, pop those down. This luckily we had, what did you say, three and a half? We had about three and a half inches here. This is about... Three and just over three inches. Just over three inches. So we've already brought the slide in to see to make sure that it's going to clear this, this trim edge. But hopefully this will keep our fridge from opening tomorrow. Sure. We're still going to pack it up inside and really jam things in there and kind of pack them in there with pillows and stuff to keep things from shifting and moving. But this will at least keep the doors closed so we don't have bottles and <coughs> jars and cans and gook everywhere. So go ahead and give the, the doors a, a good tug. Yeah. So they might come off the latch, but I don't think there's any way in hell those things are coming open. They unless unless that thing fails. So yeah, I think we got a good solution here. So hopefully this is going to hold for today. I kind of kept everything down on the bottom. Anything at the top was mostly drinks. So I put those in the pantry because they don't have to stay cold. Put the vegetables up here, moved a lot of stuff down into here. But hopefully this pillow will keep this from moving too much. And then of course, we're gonna lock it with our grab bar and just pray that we don't have a mess when we pull in today. So we needed to make a pit stop and we came in and decided to use our own bathroom so that we could take a look at the kitchen situation. And I don't hear any beeping, which signifies that the fridge is open. And from up here, I can tell that it is still closed. So that is a lovely sign. So I had to fix the shelf. The pillow 
kept this shelf from moving, but unfortunately this one came forward and like these baskets here were pushed forward into the door bins. So we will have to figure out a way to secure these, these shelves in place so they absolutely do not move forward or back. So you've all heard of Bucky's, I'm sure, and we showed you a little bit of Bucky's yesterday. And so have you heard of Wally's? Because we're at Wally's now, and this is, where are we at? The Fenton, Missouri. Fenton, Missouri. So it looks a lot like a Bucky's. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go in and check it out. It looks like a really nice place. They are also uh, advertising their barbecue. Yes. So we may have to get some more barbecue for lunch. They have uh, beef jerky, like Bucky's, which we forgot to check out yesterday. Um, I think they're known for their popcorn, maybe. Um, popcorn. That's kind of weird, but okay. So yeah, Wally's in, we're in Missouri, Fenton, Missouri. First one I've seen, I think our daughter, Samantha, has seen it before. Mm -hmm. I think she's been to one, but I've never seen one. I've never seen one on any of the RV travel videos out there. So we're going to go in, check it out. Uh, try to get a little video in there. We'll see how many people will give me weird looks. And we'll let you know what it's like. Come out all right? Yes. I did get a little bit of video in there. You know what else was in there? And I videoed the sink. I don't know what your sink was. Oh. But it was really cool. Yeah, they were interesting. Yes. Bucky's or whatever they are. So what did we get today? You're gonna do a one-to-one -one comparison, right? Yes, uh, so I got their chopped brisket sandwich just like we got yesterday. Okay, and I think I got uh, just a crispy chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. I also got a chocolate pudding. I was gonna do a one-to-one -one comparison of their banana pudding, but I like chocolate. And so. this, I mean, it's not a one-to-one, -one, but it's a comfortable. Well, yeah, we'll see. I guess it's I guess it's pudding. So we're gonna chow down now and then hit the road. The new rig is about a foot taller. Um, so we got these, I think it's a spruce tree. I think, I don't know what kind of tree this is. I'm not a tree guy, but it's got a branch that I think we're gonna hit because uh, like I said, the new rig is about a foot taller. The old rig, we could just kind of thread the needle here through the trees and we were okay. So I'm gonna take down one of these branches um, and I think it's just one. And then, so we'll take this one down and then we'll kind of back up in here and see what it looks like. And if we need to take down more, then that's what we'll do. Luckily, we've got this ginormous pole saw, electric pole saw, should make this quick and easy. I think that'll do it. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll just get backed up in here, get me out of the road. We'll kind of take a look and see what that looks like. Okay. I think we're good. So we just had the worst time ever trying to get this thing parked here 
um, where we're at for the winter and finally got it done. So this driveway is not level side to side at all. You should have seen the truck while it was still hitched up here. Uh, yeah. One side there was about eight inches of room. The other side there was about an inch and a half of room. It was pretty crazy. I don't know what the difference is, why this one, because I we, when we did this before, we parked the other rig here twice, three times, three times, I think. And we got it like the first time. Like we just yes. kind of backed in, no, no problem. So I don't know what the deal is with this one. I don't know if maybe we were more uh, terrified we were going to hit some trees and scratch up the paint job or what. But and anyway. There's that. She handles a little bit differently. Yeah. So I'm convinced that those axles are kind of in a different spot yeah, they than might. the other one, which it might be. off. So now we're going to try and auto level this. I mean, we're really it's so far off the side to side here. So we're going to see if this levels out okay. Wish us luck. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. All right, that's a good start. All right, well, they're all on the ground anyway. Hopefully our tires don't come up off of the jack box. We got it. This rig doesn't beep, but we're level. All four wheels on the ground still. Success. Yes.